logarithms. We start off with logarithmic notations. If x is multiplied n times, we say that x has been raised to power of n and that is represented as x raised to n. Thus, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is raised to power 4 and 4 multiplied 5 times is given as 4 raised to power 5. The power 4 and 5 are also referred to as logarithms of bases 3 and 4 respectively. 3 raised to power 4 is equal to 81. 4 raised to power 5 is 4096. 10 raised to power 3 is 1000. In short, we say that log to base 3 of 81 is equal to 4. Log to base 4 of 4096 is equal to 5. And finally, log to base 10 of 1000 is equal to 3. In general, if z is equal to x raised to power n, then log to base x of z is equal to n. Thus, the logarithm of a number z to base x is the power to which x must be raised to give z. For example, find x in the following. Log to base 3 of 243. Log to base 5 of 625 is equal to x. In the solutions, 243 is equal to 3 raised to power 4. And hence we have log to base 3 of 243 is equal to 4. x is equal to 4. 625 can be written as 5 raised to power 4. And therefore, log to base 5 of 625 is equal to 4 and x is also 4. Over to laws of logarithms. For multiplication of any number, their logarithms are added. They are subtracted during division. Hence, we have the three laws of logarithms written below. Simplification of logarithmic notations. The above three laws aid during simplification of logarithms. For example, simplify the following without using tables. Log to base 10 of 5 plus log to base 10 of 8 plus log to base 10 of 25. In the solutions, A can be written as log to base 10 into bracket. Since we are adding, it means the numbers were multiplied. And therefore, we have log to base 10 into 5 times 8 times 25 following rule 1. And we shall have log to base 10 of 1000, which gives us log to base 10 of 10 raised to power 3 and is also equal to 3 log to base 10 of 10 which follows rule 3 and the answer is 3. For b, log to base 3 of 3483 minus log to base 3 of 43 is equal to log to base 3 of 3483 3 over 43. That is following rule 2. This gives us log to base 3 of 81 and we shall end up with 4 as the answer. The same procedure is followed for C and D. Look at these examples keenly and identify the trick behind the solutions. Note that log 3 over log 2 is not similar to log 3 over 2. We must find each log separately and divide the answers. Note that you must never cancel out logs. 
it is just a word. For example, log 5 over log 2 must never be cancelled as such. Such will be a grave mistake. However, this can be done. Log 3 over log 3 can cancel out to give 1. When the log is to base 10, it is often not written. For example, log to base 10 of 7 can simply be written as log 7. Log to base 10 of 100 can simply be written as log 100. Solving logarithmic equations. For example, solve for x in each of the following. The solution for a, we have log into 2x minus 1 is equal to log of x plus 3. Ignoring the logs, we can take 2x minus 1 is equal to x plus 3 and solving that x is equal to 4. For b, 2 log x minus log 5 equal to log 125 means we can have log into x squared over 5 is equal to log 125. Ignoring the logs, we have x squared over 5 is equal to 125 and x is plus or minus 25. For c, log into 2x plus 2 is equal to 2 log 5 plus 1 means that log into 2x plus 1 is equal to log 5 squared plus 10. 10 is written because log to base 10 of 10 is 1. Therefore, we shall have 2x plus 2 is equal to 25 times 10 when we ignore the logs. If we solve that, x will be equal to 126. Finally, for d, 3.145 raised to power x is equal to 5. When we write that in form of logs, we have log 3.145 raised to x is equal to log 5. If we follow rule 3, we can have x log 3.145 is equal to log 5. To find x, we divide both sides by log 3.145 and we end up with x as 1.4. Let's take a look at further examples. Given the following, log 2 is 0 0.301, log 3 is equal to 0 0.477 and so forth, find the following without using tables. Log 15, 15 can be written as 3 times 5. Remember, we said when multiplying numbers, we simply add their logarithms. And therefore, log 15 can be given as log 3 plus log 5, and the answer is 1.1761. Six, 2.5 is 5 divided by 2, and therefore we subtract the logarithms of 2 and 5 to give us 0 0.398. Eight can be written as two raised to power three, and therefore we can multiply the log of two by three, making it log eight is equal to zero point nine zero three zero. Finally, root two can be written as two raised to power half. 
and therefore we multiply the log of 2 by a half and we have log 2 is equal to 0 0.1505. With that, we sum up the topic on logarithms. If you fall behind, you're in desperate trouble. That if you miss a class or miss an idea or don't do your homework, you go to the next class and the teacher assumes you know it, but it's like Greek to you. And so the biggest challenge is not falling behind and the strategy is do whatever needs to be done so you don't fall behind. Seek help wherever you can find it from students, from student help centers, from the teacher, from the teaching assistant, wherever you can get it. Because if you fall behind, it's like you're missing a floor in the building, you're missing a brick in the wall, and you just can't build the second floor without a good understanding of the first floor. It applies course to course, it applies uh, class to class, miss a class, one class, maybe that's fine. Miss two or three for whatever reason, the rest of the, they're speaking a foreign language for you and you just have to make it up or going to class has no point. If you don't go to class, it just gets worse. It snowballs and once it starts going downhill, it's, you're in trouble.